Hello, everyone. This is Carlos. Um, you may not recognize me. This is the same person that I've been on doing these webinars before, but I'm growing my beard. So this is me. Anyway, hey, I wanted to say hello. Welcome to the the webinar, the Me Media Missionary webinar. Um, I'm seeing that there are a lot of people coming on, and that's good. I see uh, lots of people, and it looks like um, I have to say hello to to uh, Canada and to our ACs that are on and to our regional managers that I see and uh, thank you for coming on some of our some of the people that are have been me missionaries for a long time um, so I'm thankful that all of you are, are joining us today and from from the US you know it's from the US and all of Canada and we're going to have a speaker from Canada Nerissa so it's going to be it's going to be good this is a um, I'd like to make a special, special welcome to those that are not media missionaries yet. Yeah, not that I'm dissing the media missionaries, because I'm glad you guys are here too. And uh, you're going to hear some some good stuff, maybe some things that you haven't heard before. But um, I'm hoping it's going to be it's going to be basic. It's going to be about being being a media missionary. So, so I'm going to start with um, Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm wearing green. And uh, you'll see most of us are wearing green. And you, you can uh, also see that I have the uh, breastplate up on the screen, breastplate prayer of St. Patrick. See, um, today is his day. He had quite a story. So today we're going to have presenters. We're going to have Jim Pinto presenting, um, Father Mark Mary from the EWTN Friars, and uh, Nerissa Flores from Canada. She'll be talking to us a little bit. And yours truly and John Paul will be also talking to you. And so uh, what we're going to have this time, well, this time I'm going to talk a little bit about the control panel that you you have in front of you. Hopefully it looks something like this and something like that. Um, but basically today it's going to be very important, this questions uh, box because we're going to take some time we're going to take some time at the end of this uh webinar it's not i'm not going to turn off the webinar it's just going to end um the major part and then we're going to have another little section another little part if there's people out there that want to join we can sign them up on the webinar so uh we're going to john paul and i are going to stay and nurse i think too is going to stay and we're going to, going to um see how that goes so the uh control panel there's an arrow button that you see that kind of uh, that brings your control panel uh, in and out um, so you can toggle it both ways so you won't get lost when you when you open it up like when you open up the questions box it looks something like this you can uh, dock it dock it by by um, clicking on this little air box with an arrow on it and, and it'll look something like this with questions and uh, you, you just fill in the questions and the question will go directly to uh, John Paul and he will answer it and uh, and that's how we're going to get questions and answers done and sometimes John Paul will put in a, an announcement in there for you so use the questions feature it's there for you to use please use it um, there's a, a special special note. Remember about the extended time that we have at the uh, at the end, and uh, and uh, again, this webinar will be recorded. Um, most of it will be recorded, and uh, so you can watch it again, or if you missed it, which you didn't because you're there. But you know, anyway, if you know somebody that wants to see it, they can. I'll send you a link, and you can uh, check out the link for the to watch the recording. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to introduce Mr. Pinto, who is our director of the Media Missionary Department and the co-host of At Home with Jim and Joy, the EWTN program. Jim? Thank you. Thank you so much, Carlos. Can you hear me okay, Carlos? Yes, I can hear okay. you fine. Good. Well, brothers and sisters, what a blessing to be with you this night. Thank you for making time for us to be together, to pray, to see God's face during this holy season of Lent. And in these desperate times, we think of the war going on, Russia and Ukraine, 
we think about the work of evangelization that is so critical at this time to to share Jesus Christ, share the good news of the church. And that's our hearts as EW10 media missionaries to carry on the legacy of Mother Angelica, to tell the whole world, God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you for the salvation of souls, for the transformation of the world, for the renewal of the Holy Catholic Church. And so we are together. God has called us for such a time as this, and it's difficult to exaggerate the need for Jesus Christ in our own lives, in our marriages, in our families, in our communities, in the nation, in the world, in the church. And so we're here tonight to learn better how to do that work. As Carlos said at the outset, uh, this is the first webinar that we've had that we have invited non-media missionaries to be with us. I don't know if any are, are with us or not. I sure hope that they are. And if you are, you've made this night very special for us. And so we're going to be going over kind of the fundamentals, the basics of what it means to be a media missionary <clears throat> so that we can hear them once again. And I want to tell you something. What we ask you to do in terms of sharing the word, making it a hot potato, emails, uh, social media, written materials, getting them out. I try to do everything that we're asking you to do. Uh, making sure we got the little bulletin notices, sending it to my secretary at the cathedral, asking you to put it in uh, you know, our bulletin there at the cathedral in Birmingham. So we always need to know the fundamentals. and We need to do those as well as thinking outside of the box. And so we do want to hear from you uh, any questions that you have, ways that you thought outside of the box to advance the gospel of Christ, the good news of the church with EWTN and how you're doing that. And so we, all, we always learn from one another. And so it's great to be with you. Thank you for this privilege. You're going to be hearing from uh, Narissa Flores in Canada, as Carlos said, and Carlos and John Paul. And I I'm just wondering now we wanted Father Mark Mary is supposed to be with us. Um, and so, Father, are you there? It doesn't look like Father is with us. Okay. Okay. Well, that just gives me another opportunity. Hopefully, he'll join us at some point, and we'll hear from him, because we wanted him to share about his special connection face-to-face -face with Mother Angelica for so many years, and how the media missionaries tie into Mother Angelica's legacy. So whether he's here or not, or shares with us or not, that's our vision for tonight. The legacy of Mother Angelica, how the media missionaries fit in with that, and let's get on with that mission and that ministry to see as many souls as possible uh, come, come to Christ or come back home to the church. So we do the work of evangelization, reaching those who may not have heard of the Lord, have been baptized. And then we have a great work of the new evangelization, re-evangelizing ourselves, those in the church, those who've wandered away and so on, that they might return back home to the church for their own sake, and for the glory and honor of Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, once again, we praise, bless, and adore you for your mercies, for your loving kindness. Thank you that we are alive at this time and in this hour. Bless every person that is a part of uh, this uh, webinar, this media missionary gathering tonight, those that will see it uh, via tape later on. We love you all. We pray for you. We pray for your joys. We pray for your sorrows. We pray for your health. We pray for you in the midst of sickness. And, and we, we pray for you in the midst of the calling that Jesus Christ has for you because there's some people only you can reach. EW10 goes out to 400 million people, but there's a person, there's five, there's 10, there's 20. We are not reaching. And they're waiting to be reached possibly by you and your own family and your parish, someplace, somewhere where you go outside of the church, just in the midst of the world that is your world. So Lord, anoint us this night. May this be a wonderful time. And may we be empowered. If there's anyone that's uh, with us tonight that's not a media missionary, may they hear just what they need to hear to make the decision you would have them to make. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, and we ask the prayers of Mother Angelica, who we bless, uh, Mary, the mother of God, St. Joseph, and of St. Patrick. St. Patrick, give us that missionary zeal and fire for souls that you had and implanted in the great nation of Ireland. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Carlos, back to you. Okay, so what, what we're going to do now, thank you, Jim, that was, that was beautiful, is we're going to have Narissa come on. If she's there, I know she's there. So we'll just wait for her to turn on her camera and her microphone, and you can uh, you can go ahead and... Hi, Narissa. 
<laughs> hi Carlos, hi Jim, hi everybody. Um, good evening and uh, thank you for this opportunity to talk to you about our media missionary program. So my topic is something that resonates well with the times, the patience to endure persecution. It comes from the prayer of Mother Angelica for EWTN. There's a line that says, the patience, God grant us the patience to endure persecution. These words were a vision. See, that's the prayer card that's yes, and it's circled there. Um, these words were a vision of what is to come. The many things and events happening around us lead us to a poverty of the spirit and a crisis of faith. This can be disheartening and discouraging at times. So given this, the important question is, why would you choose to be a media missionary, especially when you need patience and endurance these days? I often ask our media missionaries what limits them in promoting EWTN, and the answers are not new to us. Next, Carlos. First of all, um, Next slide, please. Um, common issues. Um, media missionaries tell me no one wants to talk about faith anymore. It's so funny because people can spend hours staring at their smartphones, but they cannot sit for two minutes to talk for us to talk to them about faith. Um, and some media missionaries felt limited um, by discouraging circumstances around us around us nowadays. First of all, church attendance is shrinking. You can see this in a lot of places. And there's also disengagement. Younger people do not feel as connected to the church. Faith is not a priority in their current lifestyles. And of course, there's the pandemic-induced circumstances. Churches were closed or were limiting materials being distributed. Pastors were not allowing people to just hand out materials. And sadly, many people have failed to return to church after lockdowns. Online worship has become convenient for many. So should we allow ourselves, especially us as media missionaries, to be affected? Every day, life will always present us with many, many new challenges. But we also know God asks us to be strong and to cast our anxieties upon him. So as media missionaries, we are actually called to serve, to be of service to our faith. Saying yes to be a media missionary is not, is not um, nothing happens by chance. It's a prompting of the Holy Spirit. So do not be discouraged for you are all doing great work. Keep going. There's no better motivator than God himself. And your mission aligns with EWTN's mission of inspiring people to seek holiness of heart. So what can we do as media missionaries given the, all the circumstances we face? First, let us strengthen our faith. Keep on praying. Every situation we go through is designed to teach us perseverance. Arm yourselves with prayers. When your pastor says no, ask God to prompt him to say yes. Also, just as we need exercise to be physically strong, we also need spiritual weightlifting to strengthen us in what God has called us to do. That's a, let us flex our spiritual muscles by continuously praying. Secondly, next slide, please, is for us media missionaries to be creative. There's an ad that says we find ways. So we just have to follow that same um, words. Where else can we share EWTN? In Canada, we have some media missionaries who did, when there were no events and no churches open, they had like um, put up pro-life tables on the streets, for example. They have a picture there. And when the churches opened, there were media missionaries who put up like EWTN tables in parish lobbies. Uh, we have a couple of area coordinators who are really, really good at this. And then ask ourselves, who else can you reach? Pray for God to show us who can you encourage. Another media missionary here in Canada shared EWTN resources, for example, during the pandemic, at the height of the pandemic, the kids at their parish offering flowers during the month of May. So there's always a way that we could, you know, reach out to find new audiences for EW, or, you know, like new people to talk to or encourage about EWTN. And then let's talk about how else can we share EWTN. There's so many ways that we could share it. Make it spiritually rewarding for people to look at their smartphones all the time. 
there's the EWTN app, there's the website, there's YouTube, there's social media for EWTN. Lead them to that if they cannot just do the, you know, watch TV, um, EWTN cable. So uh, know more about EWTN, widen your knowledge of what we offer, and be an EWTN expert. Encourage your pastor, share programs which could inspire him in his homilies and his ministries. Keep connected and pray that God create a culture of encouragement in your church. And lastly, stay lighthearted. Refocus your vision and energy when you have doubts and questions and negativity. Write them down and replace each with God's truth and words. It is the perfect antidote. Lastly, remember that EWTN has been created for times such as this. We help the faithful stay Sorry, we help the faithful stay connected to the faith all day, every day, everywhere, in every corner of the world. When the pandemic hit, lockdown didn't mean a lockout from us, from the faith, because people were able to get their spiritual nourishment from EWTN. We remain a beacon in the dark for over 40 years now. So in closing, yes, the challenges remain, but now more than ever, we need to do what we are go what has God sorry what God has called us to do. Have patience to endure persecution because our mission has become even more relevant nowadays. So thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Narissa. That was that was great. What a bunch of information you you had. You impacted it very well. Thank you very much. So um, what I'm going to do now is is I'm going to do something uh, a little bit different that we haven't done before. I'm going to try and take a poll. So I'm going to ask you all to um, answer this poll. If you're a registered media missionary, let's see. So you should see something on your screen where you can, wow, that's quick. Okay, so we have um, we have lots of people who are. It's the poll is just going and going, and uh, so it's about sixty-five percent of you have answered. That's nice. Thank you. Seventy-three percent. So the poll goes fast. I didn't think it'd go that fast. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. So far, it looks like there's a lot of media missionaries out there. So that's good. Thank you for joining. And I hope you got some good information. That's really some uh, some good basic information that Narissa was sharing about being a media missionary. Um, there's about, so far, there's about 13% that aren't media missionaries. So uh, that's good to know too. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go through the basics of this and uh, of what the program is and then we'll kind of hopefully we'll we'll get every one of those 13 to 15 percent so far anyway i'm going to close the poll because it looks like that's going to be about it all right all right so what is the ewtn media missionary program well um in a nutshell the Me Missionary Program answers the call of Jesus. I think all of you know that. Mark 16, 15, Jesus says, go out to all the world and preach the gospel. So that's the call. The Media Missionary Program is answering that call, united with Mother Angelica and, of course, with EWTN. It's a volunteer program. At, at the uh, bottom line is the volunteer program that raises awareness of EWTN. There's three Ps that summarize the ways a person can volunteer, and I put them on the screen for you to see. Uh, personal prayer, parish involvement, public outreach. Those are the three Ps. It all starts with prayer, so that that is the foundation of all media missionary work. You talk to any media missionary, you're going you're gonna to hear prayer. They're going to be praying about EW10 and about everybody converting, being part of it. So um, you can also volunteer after all, all the media missionaries pray. That's the, the foundation. The, you can also volunteer and be involved in your parish. We have all sorts of resources and materials that we can send out that you can share at your parish. You can also volunteer to do public outreach. 
In that case, we send out different kinds of resources, but you'll see as a meeting missionary, you'll see that we have a lot of resources and, and uh, some that are particularly uh, made just, just for public outreach. But so that's it in a, in a nutshell. Basically, you order what, you, what resources we have, we send them to you in the mail, and then you share them. We, we send beautiful brochures, and they are beautiful, and nice flyers and, and more things. It's all free of charge, which is the way Mother wanted it, and that's the way it's going to be. So we have a website, um, cell phone, social media, e-blasts that we send out twice a, twice a month in a newsletter, a quarterly newsletter. All of that to uh, so that each of us can answer Jesus' call to spread the good news using EWTN. So a little bit about the history of EWTN and I mean of the Meaning Missionary Program. And maybe uh, some of you haven't heard, had heard this part, but I'm showing an infographic on the screen that is the history of the EWTN Meaning Missionaries. And this you can find on our uh, website. Uh, EWTNmissionaries.com. You can see this this uh, graphic. Basically, it shows how uh, the um, meeting missionary started small, just an idea, but it it gained because the volunteers that were, wanted to help Mother Angelica and they caught the zeal to help her, and it spread like wildfire. How did it all start? Well. In the 1970s, before EW10 was founded, volunteer missionaries distributed Mother Angelica mini books. These are little spiritual booklets that she um, she wrote, and she was she wanted to distribute them. And so these volunteers helped helped her spread the word of EW10 and these these mini books all across the country. They caught the zeal to help Mother in her mission. Soon, Mother Angelica founded the CFMA, which stands for the Catholic Family Missionary Alliance. That was a long time ago, but they that's how it started. They founded that, and it became an EWTN. It wasn't EWTN yet, but it did uh, have the outreach uh, program on there. And uh, with within that group, that outreach program, there were volunteers that prayed and dealt with cable companies. And they were, well, I guess it was EWTN was then, they uh, acted as a local EWTN contact person at their parish, um, and they raised awareness of EWTN, which is still what we do today. In the, in the year 2003, uh, there was a new focus, and and the program got a new name. The name was, was changed to, to uh, EWTN Media Missionaries Program. And uh, that is because it started to focus on the missionary spirit of the volunteers and to dedicate, and it, it also EWTN gave the program a dedicated staff to support the meeting missionaries. So each meeting missionary is spreading the splendor of Christ's church to the world. So that's what we do. Let's, let's hear a little bit more about it from uh, John Paul. John Paul, are you there? Hey there. How is everybody doing this evening? Happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of you. Um, just wanted to say also, I will be here in the uh, office along with Carlos. Right now, just to let you know, I have these awesome St. Patrick's Day rosaries. So I would love to send some of those to you. Feel free to give us a, a call or to email us or order uh, through our comments, and we would love to have a chance to uh, send those to you with some rosary, rosaries to have a chance to um, go ahead and uh, share with those around you and also to be able to use for yourself. So today I will be telling you a little bit more about what an EWTN Media Missionary does and the ways in which you can volunteer. And also for you 13% that happened to join us this evening, thank you so, so much. This is probably the best decision you've ever made. So uh, we're so happy to have you with us. Next slide. All right, so as Carlos was letting us know, personal prayer is uh, 
such a focal point for what we have as media missionaries. We'll be covering the three P's all together. And not only that, we'll be receiving some words uh, and encouragement from Mother Angelica herself. So again, personal prayer. Personal prayer is essential in the life of a media missionary. It is the wellspring from which our active life flows. God calls us to know, love, and serve him. And we fortify ourselves to share Jesus by first beginning in prayer. If you are disabled, sick, or homebound, you can still actively participate in EWTN's mission by offering prayers for your family, friends, parish, community, and EWTN. When I talk to people on the phone a lot of times, we like to characterize it uh, kind of like a pebble that's dropped into a pond. And from that pond, those ripples have a chance to radiate out. And from that focal prayer of you with the Word of God and having a chance to pray and that come in contact with the Holy Spirit that you carry with you through those sacraments out into the world, you are having a chance to be the hands of Christ, to be the mouth of Christ, to be the feet that are venturing out there. And as Jim so oftentimes says, you are the face of Jesus Christ out in the world today. And that is such an awesome and humbling thing for each one of us to be able to be in this world. Mother Angelica herself said, prayer of the heart is always a deep awareness of who you're working for, who you love, and who loves you. She also used to say that the world needs to hear two things, God loves you and I love you. And that's something that we need to be sharing daily. Next slide. Also, we have parish involvement. The parish is the center of our spiritual life. It is where we receive the word of God, and it is also where we have an opportunity to receive the sacraments. We can share EWTN with our parish. And when I say EWTN, know exactly what that means, especially for you people that are tuning in tonight for the first time having a chance to understand. EWTN is the Eternal Word Television Network. Jesus Christ is that eternal word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That's exactly what we're sharing. As Carlos mentioned, we're taking that great commission, and we're going out into all the world, and we are making disciples, and you are now a part of that. Jim oftentimes calls that a multiplication uh, principle that we have, where we go ahead, and as disciples, we go out to make more disciples. So along with those things, you'll be able to receive free resources. Right now we have over 33 free resources and information that you can distribute from EWTN to your parishioners. With your pastor's permission or those in the personnel office, we will provide you with this on a regular basis. Now the main thing is you will have an opportunity to select exactly what it is that you're going to receive and how many of those things that you'll receive. You can go ahead and contact us uh, via our website, or you can go ahead and email us, or you can contact us via telephone. We're here to serve you. You can actually ask for a free starter kit, which has some of our most popular and frequently ordered resources. And so you can go ahead and begin that journey right then and there, and then go ahead and order the additional resources you need. As Mother Angelica told us, the time is ripe now, and it behooves us to work very fast and with much effort because we don't know when he'll call. That's the thing. A lot of times we, we think to ourselves that it's, it's in the future or, or maybe not in my lifetime. We're told that nobody knows when or where that call is going to happen and when there could be rapture and when people will leave this world. And how many people do you pass on a daily basis as you're driving home? I think about it all the time on the interstate. How many people do I see that I could change? and share Jesus Christ with. I ask you to make that same decision. Next slide. So right now we're looking at public outreach and this is everybody. These are those people that are out there on the street. These are the people you see uh, on a daily basis in that grocery store line. The world around us is in need of good news. I think we all know that tonight, right? But the thing is also, I think the world needs the good news, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Evangelization can be just as simple as talking to the people we meet about EWTN. And in doing that, we'll have a chance to share our Catholic faith. Whether you have opportunities to share with coworkers, customers, or your social media circle, or fellow students, EWTN can help. We will provide you with free resources, 
that you need to make a difference. Again, Mother Angelica tells us, let my family, community, parish, and nation live within and grow in this family spirit so the world may know Jesus is Lord and that your love embraces all mankind. I know you know as well as I do every time Michael Warsaw comes on there and he says, hello, family. When he says that, he means it. You are family. Next slide. Also, we do have our social media. On social media, you can go ahead and reach out to an entire world of people around you. On Facebook, we have our open group. We also have Instagram. We have Twitter, YouTube, and we also have eBlasts that are sent out twice a month. Uh, make sure that you click on those pictures to have a chance to know more exactly about what is within the eBlast. And then also we do have featured programs that are there as well. We also have a Facebook closed group, and that is meant for our people that have already signed up as media missionaries. You can go there and share your insights and your ideas, and you can also share your success stories. Also, we do have electronic resources that are available on our website that is under the resources option. This is a fantastic way to personalize a message to somebody that you know, such as family, friends, or just somebody you meet along the way. If you find something specific that they need to pray over or something that means something to them, such as uh, I need to go to confession or I don't know how to pray the rosary, you can actually go and download that and then go ahead, write out an email and then send them a personalized email. And it's just a nice, friendly way to let people know that you love and care for them. And that is exactly what we we're talking about, to go ahead and reach out to the world in need. Also, I do hope every one of you has the EWTN app. This is fantastic, and it is free for you to go ahead and download. You can have EWTN with you at your fingertips at all times. It has an e-Bible, an entire electronic Bible, so the Word of God is there. And you also can share Jesus Christ and EWTN with anyone wherever you go. It has EWTN On Demand, EWTN uh, live stream of television and radio, we have program schedules. We have uh, so, so many things that are available for you to have a chance to, uh, to learn from and experience. Also, there is a media missionaries icon there. All you have to do is to press that button. You're taken directly to our website. From there, you can go ahead and sign up to become a media missionary. And also, on top of that, you can go ahead and order at any given time. You can also learn how to be an even better media missionary. So I do go ahead and, and tell each of you, if you do not have that downloaded right now, please go ahead and do so. Next slide, please. Right now, as I was telling you about the, uh, the intro uh, video, it's available for you to see on our homepage. And then also, if you see in the top left-hand corner there, we do have a take action section. It's a very easily navigatable uh, bar that we have at the top of our website. You can click there, go directly uh, to that uh, web page and have a chance to see prayer, parish, public. It kind of gives you a nice sound bite of exactly what it's like to be a media missionary, how to practice each one of those three Ps. And also you'll have a chance to see some people that are actually practicing it in their daily life. So I definitely, definitely have a chance to go ahead and see that uh, introduction video. And again, there at the very bottom, that is our website, EWTNmissionaries.com. And then also, if you wanted to just go directly there, that's EWTNmissionaries.com slash videos. Next slide, please. All right, well, we're gonna end with a few closing words from Mother Angelica herself. Everything starts with one person. I don't care if you're five or 105. God from all eternity chose you to be where you are at this time in history to change the world. You also all know this one probably by heart. We are all called to be great saints. Don't miss the opportunity. Now, when you say saints, a lot of us think that's a very lofty thing. I, I, I look to these holy men and women and I revere them. And more often than not, the main thing that we all need to re remember is that these are extraordinary people. And what I mean by that is they are extra ordinary people. They're just like me and you. She said, saints are ordinary people with compassion, with the Father in their souls, the humility of Jesus in their minds. 
and the love of the Spirit in their hearts. Each one of us here today is carrying that. I ask you to put it into practice. Remember, we here at the Media Missionaries Department are here to serve you, and we're only a phone call away. Happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of you. May God bless you, brothers and sisters. Now over to Jim Pinto for our closing prayer. Wonderful job, John Paul and Carlos. Thank you so very much for your sharings. Narissa, thanks for your special sharing with us uh, all the way there from Canada and uh, reminding us about the power of prayer and uh, that in this world we will have tribulation, Jesus said. But be of good cheer, he said, <laughs> underline that one. I have overcome this world. So I want to say to all of you participating, those that will uh, catch this time of sharing later on, uh, because we've taped this whole time, um, you know, be of good cheer. In the midst of the heaviness of this world and our own family situations, possibly our, our health or lack of health, whatever it might be, um, that, as Narissa said, we can still have these burdens, but yet there's lightheartedness. We have what's called a joyful sorrow. We're sorrowful about things and we mourn what's going on, yet there's a joy because we're walking in the way of the Lord. Joy is a byproduct of loving Jesus, of trying to bless his church, participating in the sacraments, being in union with all the angels and, and saints, including St. Patrick. And we know that the Lord will win the victory, that all things are made by him, for him, and are coming to him. So let's be about intercessory prayer. Let's be about blessing our parish. And let's move out publicly in every way you possibly can. Because as, as I said at the beginning, 400 million people we're reaching, but there's 5, 10, 20, 50, 70, 100, 1,000 that only we can reach, that, that EW10 is not reaching your friends, your family, others in your social media platforms that you can reach out to. Now, today is the day. Now is the time for salvation declare this to the world. As John Paul said, we don't know how much time we have or this world has uh, before we pass away, we go to be with him or Jesus Christ comes again. And let us be found doing his work. I want to pray with you and then have another short word. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for this blessed night. Bless all the people that are, are, are hearing my voice right now. May they know that you are nearer to them than they are to themselves, those that they're concerned about, the very difficult situations they might be facing, the, the loved ones that they're concerned for, the wayward who they love and is breaking their hearts. Yet, Lord, light a fire, Lord Jesus. As long as there's life, there, there's time for them. Help our media missionaries to know that they're not alone. You're always with them. But you will be with us always, even to the end of the age, especially in the sacraments and in the Catholic Christian community, that we're all together in on this and that you will prevail. Grant us your grace and your peace. Fill us with all hope and power and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, during this Lenten season, let us say with uh, St. Paul, I want to know Christ. I want to know Jesus Christ as never before. I want to know you, Jesus. I want to know the fellowship of your sufferings. I want to know the power of your resurrection. I want to have a resurrection like yours. I want to experience a death like yours that I might live for all eternity with you. And I want to take as many people with me as I can. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep the fire hot within us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And so those of you, especially you know, who are, you're not media missionaries, this is your opportunity. We're gonna sign off here, but you stay on because Carlos and John Paul are gonna speak with you and they're gonna tell you now how you can sign up to be a media missionary. We want you, we need you. You know, evangelization is not an option for Catholics. Uh, we're all called to be evangelists, we're all called to be missionaries, not everybody's called to be a media missionary, but we wanna help assist you and do this work with you. That all together, we will build a new culture of life. All together, we will see the church at her most beautiful and in her hottest state for the love of Jesus Christ and for the love of souls. So God bless you. Just click off now. But those who want to join the media missionaries, you stay with us. God bless you. Bye now.